Great spirit, great mystery. Gratitude for this brand new day. Gratitude for the ancestors of this sacred land, for all that they lived here since the beginning of time. Gratitude to all of our ancestors who are lined up behind us always, offering us all of their love and wisdom. We are the reality of their dreaming. We are the tip of the arrow of our entire ancestral lineage. Gratitude to the four winds, the four directions, and the four elements, to the earth, the air, the fire, and the water. Gratitude from the heart of the earth to the heart of the sky and to the heart of the spirit that lies between. Gratitude for the standing people, the trees, with their roots in the ground and their branches in the air, reminding us that we too are that connection between the earth and the sky. Gratitude for all of the four-legged creatures of this land, for when they walk, their hearts are closest to this earth, and they can best feel the heartbeat of this planet and know how to live in harmony and balance upon it. Gratitude to the two-legged guardians of this land. But when we stood up on two feet, we distanced our hearts from this earth and need to work a little harder to live in harmony and balance upon it. Gratitude to all of the beings that creep and crawl and slither upon this earth. Gratitude to the plant world, the mineral world, and the mushroom world, and to all the species on this planet. Gratitude to all of our sacred waters, to our ponds and streams, our rivers, our lakes, and our oceans, and for all of the beings that inhabit them. Gratitude to the winged ones in the sky soaring high above us, reminding us of our own freedom to see the greater picture of things from a higher perspective. Gratitude to the cloud nation and the wind nation and the star nation and the moon and the sun to remind us that we are all one here together. We are all one on this giant ball of earth and air, fire and water floating in the middle of this cosmos. We are all connected like a giant web of life on this planet that we call Earth. Gratitude for this community that lives here together, continuing to hold this space, this healing space, this power spot for the entire planet. And from this land, we send a prayer out to all of humanity, like a drop of water in a pond that ripples outwards. We offer our deepest prayers for a peaceful passage for those returning back to the stars, sacrificing their lives to wake up this planet, sending much love and healing to their families and to their loved ones. We send a prayer out to all humanity during these very challenging times, with all of the fear and anxiety that exists worldwide, always offering up the silver lining, the teaching, or the gift. Gratitude for this earth and our air and our waters and to all of our wildlife that are now receiving a blessed respite from humanity, receiving a very deep healing. Gratitude, Great Spirit, for this opportunity to stop to go inside and to reassess our lives, to examine how we've lived up until now and how we want to live upon this planet. Reminding you that we all prayed for these times. We prayed for the healing of our planet. We prayed for a change to an old way of living, to a consumer-driven and materialistic society that is crumbling down right now before our very eyes. Reminding you that you were born for these times. We were all born for these times. This is our opportunity to envision a new humanity on this planet, a better humanity, a kinder and more loving humanity, a humanity that respects and encompasses all. Gratitude for the little ones who are coming down right now. They know what they're coming down to, so let us welcome them in a good way, living in harmony and balance together upon this planet. We are only one part of this great web of life all of us so very deeply interconnected. And we all need one another to survive and to thrive here in symbiosis together upon this earth. Gratitude, Great Spirit, for the greatest gift that we have been given, the gift of life upon this planet, in this body, in this incarnation, during this powerful moment in time, because these are the times, and the time is now. If not you, who? And if not now, when? for all my relations.